Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for August 27th, 2021. A very special happy birthday to my mom, Nancy. Mom, I love you so much. I hope you have the most blessed day. Everybody send some good energy to my mom. All right, <laughs> let's see what we have going on for today. I keep hearing resourcefulness, resourcefulness, resourcefulness. You know, if we're going to be self-preserving beings, we need to start taking care of things on our own and only working with others. You know, I want to be careful on how I say this because I don't want everybody thinking like I can't trust anybody. You know, again, we learn our lessons through one another, but there's this big thing here where it's like, we're leaning, we're, we're waiting too much for guidance from other people who may not know what they're talking about. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling an example of like some people are like, well, I got to wait for my husband to tell me that it's okay to do this. Or you're single and you're like, well, there's somebody I'm kind of hung up on and I'm just waiting to see what they want to do. I'm waiting to see if they ever contact me again. Move on. Oh, ouch. Ooh, what now? Huh? Move on. Honor your soul's contract. Clear that away. All right. We do not need to be beholden to other people to give us permission to live. All right, let's get a card. <sighs> remember how people, because they're saying this too, remember there's this pattern here of humans trying to feel superior to one another. Okay, and so, so someone's always trying to knock somebody else down or saying you owe me something. How dare you go off and live your life without my permission? Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I have people in my life who, okay, um... They, they didn't have any like real role in my life. I mean, they kind of did, but not really. Um, not in my personal life, certainly not. And got mad because I made choices about my job. And got mad because I made choices about where I was going to live. Ooh, I've had friends turn their backs on me because I chose to leave New York City. How dumb. You could have had a place to stay in Colorado. <laughs> That's okay. They weren't real friends anyway at the end of the day. All right, transition. This is exactly it. You're jumping over what is expected. You're moving away from people who have, you know, their claws in you and saying, you will live by my expectations of you and by my viewpoint of you. And you can't do things without my permission. Look around your life. Who has control over you? And for some of you, you might say, well, it is a spouse or it's my children. My children, my grown children have so much control over me because they think I'm too old to handle anything. Or uh, you know, a boss, something like that. You know, you are in charge of your soul's contract and your being, okay? So I'm not encouraging people to not collaborate with one another, okay? Or to not take your spouse into consideration. People are all over the place. I mean, it's a spectrum here, okay? I think I just smeared my eye makeup, which is bad because it's really dark. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, anyway whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm not encouraging people then to get so self-centered that you're just not taking anybody else. To, the whole thing is balancing, considering yourself and considering others and see where the harmony can come in. We need to transition into that because that's not where we are right now. Okay. Um, it's a whole lot of, uh, I'm hearing panic. So people are panic. They're getting themselves into these situations. They're panicking. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. So people are going to be panicking because of what they're seeing in the world. And a lot of spiritual practitioners have picked up on this stuff. We're all kind of tapped in and getting, you know, it, 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 we're getting the messages, but it filters through our individual ego consciousness and the way we put it. That's why, you know, I've told people in the past, if you don't resonate with what I'm saying, that's okay. It's okay. I'm not your messenger. I've had people get really offended. Did you hear what she just said? She just said, uh, I'm not, uh, she's not my messenger. <laughs> really, even that you're going to take personally? Wow. Um, but what I'm getting at here is, you know, I'm communicating in a way that will ping off of people that need to hear it in this way, right? So maybe you need to hear it from somebody else too, but you're going to be hearing that same kind of message where we need to be, um, oh God, guys, it's about connection. I'm getting a message about connection, but connection in a healthy way. So see how the, some of the messages have been like, okay, let's disconnect from this health, uh, excuse me, unhealthy uh, control. I feel superior. I'm the alpha. I run you. And not overcorrecting and going, you know, you want to be resourceful. You want to take accountability for yourself, but I'm not saying not to collaborate. So I've made that clear, right? Okay. So we want to get back into this place of connection. Why this is a little uh, rough right now and why we need to kind of transition 
into a way of figuring out how to do that better. If you have ever, let's say online dated, <laughs> how many times have you seen somebody say, I'm just looking for something casual. Ew, no, I'm sorry. That was judgmental, but ew, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to be a part of a revolving door, right? Or uh, what is that thing? It's just an example, but what is that thing of not wanting to connect with one another or go deep with one another? Part of that is because we have siphoning souls out there, feeder souls. Especially if you're an empath, you might be afraid to be too connected to somebody because they do take from you. And we could all sit out here all the live long day and give these inspiring messages, right? About <laughs> protecting your energy and all of that. But you know, when real life hits, sometimes that's hard. Okay. When real life comes along, you care, you know, you're maybe even enmeshed. Maybe you're in a family unit that enmeshes you and says, no, this is how we do things. And you can't deviate from this, right? We have to learn how to connect and bypass all of the toxicity and learn to appreciate the harmony that we could have with all of us. We've been distracted from that in many, many, many ways because if we're connected in harmony, that light is immense and it would bring peace. It would bring the love back to this planet, but we keep getting darted away from one another. So sit with that today. See where you can contribute in a profound way. All right? I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.